Hey, what's up, everybody? BDF44 coming at you with another video. All right, so tonight the Lakers are bouncing right back from yesterday's historic LeBron James 19 point fourth quarter comeback. And we got to play the Wizards. Of course, here at home. Um, yesterday's game, of course, was against the Clippers, so that too was at home, basically. Um, and we're, I didn't even get a chance to really think about how that panned out after I made my Laker reaction vert video last night found out that that was his greatest comeback in the history of his career um, and just a lot of stuff there that, that you have to look at and just appreciate when you consider LeBron James and how awesome he was shooting last night in the fourth quarter <clears throat> and how that trickled down to everybody else being able to contribute off of, off of the defense collapsing on him uh, so we were down by as much as 21 there and came back, got the victory, and it, it was just a, a notch under his belt. <laughs> Yet another one. Um, so tonight, Wizards, 7.30, 10.30 Eastern. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I think, if I'm being completely honest with you, we could afford to sit Braun in this one. Or AD, we could sit somebody in this one. We don't have to play our biggest players we don't have to do too much the Wizards are on a 12 game losing streak and uh probably want to lose for on purpose at this point try to get the um best opportunity at at the top overall pick they are tied for the worst record in the NBA right now with the Detroit Pistons and they've been losing everybody man <clears throat> Cleveland uh the Pelicans uh uh Golden State Warriors with the team they played last They've been losing everybody. The Denver Nuggets, of course. I mean, they just... It's bad. Now, they got a couple players on the injury report. Uh, Denny Advija, I think, is a game-time decision. Bilal Koulibaly is out. Um, I'm trying to remember who that other person was on the injury report. I honestly do not remember. I come unprepared, but... This Wizards team is a bit shorthanded. And then on top of that, they're just not really well put together. They're really not. You got Jordan Poole coming off the bench, making more than a third of the cap, playing horrible. Um, don't expect for him to play horrible tonight in our building, though. And that's what I will tell you. Expect for him to play like a splash brother tonight. You got Kyle Kuzma over there. <clears throat> Whoever since he said don't be like the Detroit Pistons has been just like the Detroit Pistons. If not worse since that span is going on. Uh, you got Denny Advija, who's playing like an all-star on a horrible team. Poor guy. I mean, he's been balling. Really, really balling, and it ain't you know it ain't coming to nothing. He should have been traded at the deadline um, to a good team, so he could actually show what he can do. You got Terrence, not Terrence Jones. You got uh, Tyus Jones, who was hoping he would be traded, but wasn't. He had 17 assists against the Golden State Warriors to no avail, losing anyway. <laughs> you know, you got Corey Kisper, who's starting to find his way as a fantastic shooter. He was a lottery pick about five years ago, getting some opportunities but on a bad team it's just a lot of solid players who probably shouldn't be playing together on this team and so that's what i see there man we should be able to mold him over with guys like Rui hachimura who used to play for the wizards and, and spencer denby who used to play for the wizards if i'm not mistaken these guys probably have a, a special desire to beat this team and I, I think we should feed Rui tonight i really do i think we should Seize the moment, realize this is old squad that gave up on him, traded him away for two pennies to a good team, and now he's with us. I ain't gonna say we're a good team, but we, you know, a great franchise, and he's with us, and uh, showing them why they shouldn't have did that. Why every decision they've made for the past couple of years has been questionable at the very best. So, you know, you look at the Wizards and you say, okay, um, we should beat you. Obviously, we got Kyle Kuzma coming in who wants to destroy us, but. He ain't been able to affect winning. We just got to continue to keep our foot on these teams next. When we have an opportunity to beat teams that are no good, you do that. When Detroit came in, we stomped them out. This is our first meeting against the Washington Wizards, which means we have another one after this, which means we should get two easy victories in a plethora of horrible teams for the rest of the season. Only 22 or 23 games left, two of them against these guys. We got to get both of these victories. And... We need to try to do it in easy fashion so we can rest our starters because it's not going to get easier from here. Got Denver coming up, Minnesota coming up, two against SAC, OKC. Um, I mean, it ain't getting easy. <laughs> so you got to secure this one. 
There will be no excuses for for not securing this one. You barely won yesterday against um, the Clippers, whom didn't have Paul George. You had some of the worst rotations we had ever seen out there yesterday. And nobody's going to remember that because we won the game. But if Darvin Ham doesn't secure this victory, we will talk about both games as a collective and how that went. Because yesterday, I, you know, we gave him a pass for the fourth quarter and how special Braun was saving his backside, putting on that cape, as he said. But believe me, if we lose to the Wizards, we go talk about all the crap that took place against the Clippers. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the Wizards, you know, like I said, they're on a 12 game losing streak. They probably don't even want to win. Their players are probably dejected. You got Rashawn Holmes on his team who probably should be bought out so we could sign him because we could surely use him. They got him in the. Uh, Daniel Gafford trade for which I don't think I knew I think I forgot that or that slipped through the crack somehow with me but <laughs> Daniel Gafford's wasting away on this team and we could use a center so if the Wizards ha uh, hear this video please wave him buy him out so the Lakers could pick him up and we need Rashad Holmes um our center position is shot Colin Castleton is out of course Christian Wood still out although he seems to be with the team <laughs> Hopefully that's a sign we can get him back on the floor at some point. But we got Cam Reddish back, and Coach is overusing him just like he, he put him in rotations with um, Torian Prince and Spencer Dinwiddie and Austin Reeves, which is just type of stuff, type of stuff, you know what I mean? And as a result, we were down by 20-something while all that was going on. And, you know, we just need our coach to, to not be himself. Be somebody else, bro. Stop doing Darvin Ham stuff. Guy comes back fresh from injury. You put him on the floor in a small ball lineup. Anyway, I'm trying not to get angry, but I have a different way of looking at last night's game because we should have never been down by that much at all. And the only reason why we were is because of them rotations and how bad they were. So, you know, if he does that tonight, we probably can get the victory. Um, but then again, you don't want to toy around with the NBA, especially a team that's been losing a lot. You got key players, star players on their team coming to your building, having won a championship here in Kyle Kuzma. Uh, you don't want to underestimate the desire for a guy like Kyle Kuzma to get his first victory in 100 years in this building. His last time in this building uh, for the season, the first time in his time, whatever, man. He's coming back to the Lakers. You know what I'm trying to say. He needs a victory. And the worst way for us to go is for us to hand it to him tonight. So... Be ready for him. Him and Denny Advija, uh and Tyus Jones are really the the main attack. Um, of course, Corey Kispert. They don't. I don't like. I said Kula Bali. I believe is out. I think Denny Advija is day to day, so there's a chance Denny doesn't play too. But it's the Lakers. I'd imagine Denny's gonna want to show he can play here in this building. So be ready for him. He's a big time rebounder, big time. Um, uh, you know, combination guy kind of thing. He could stretch the floor a little bit, get get assists going. So if Denny plays, I could argue he he and Kuzma are their most talented players. So yeah, man, uh, this Wizards team wants a top overall pick. So we need to go ahead and oblige them, just like we did San Antonio. Don't have any blemishes tonight. You don't know this team. You know, we're already at the end of the season, damn near, and we hadn't seen them yet. So let's just do a little homework, study their tendencies. Um, OKC Thunder dropped 147 points on them a couple days ago, their season high. So clearly they don't play any defense. Let's just go in here and, and, and mow down this team, man. Bum rush them, mow them down. I like what I saw from Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura yesterday. D'Angelo Russell, our others showed up in the starting lineup. Didn't get a whole lot from our bench, but I think that had a lot to do with them trash rotations. But overall, um, you know, we should be able to come in, if we, especially if we take this game seriously, and it ended in the third quarter, man. We should be able to sit our starters at the end of this game, hopefully, if we do what we're supposed to do. If not, we'll have a dog fight against a bad team. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is, man. Your Lakers are going to be wearing yellow tonight at home for a change. Surprise. And uh, they're going to be wearing their district city uh, jerseys that look like something from a different era. I don't really understand... Uh, this color scheme there. Uh, I'm trying to think of this place my mom used to go. Me and I uh, and her used to go down there, and it would be like uh, from the the old times. Look like something. What's it called? It uh, medieval times is the name of that place. That's what that looks like. It looked like 
the medieval times color scheme of the district city jerseys for the Wizards. That's what it looked like to me. So I don't, I don't really know what they're doing with that. But um, that's what they're wearing, man. So hopefully that'll be what they lose in. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Shout out to the King for, for being himself last night. Coming through, hitting five threes in the fourth quarter. Giving our team the victory. We're very pleased to have won that game against the Clippers. You know how much that means to us, especially since this is the last home game they're going to have against us on our in our building. Uh, that's exactly what it is. And they get to go off to Intuit Center and lose there uh, next season. So we're, we're, de- we're definitely happy to have done that. And um, we won the season series against this team, the, the Clippers, for the first time since 11-12 season. <laughs> So that's a massive deal for us as well, man. We're, we're, we're taking our city back, quote unquote, even though we never lost it. But, you know, we're finally the better team as it pertains to going up against them. We beat them three out of one, three out of four times, rather. So now we got to go ahead and take care of the Wizards. And uh, the Wizards suck, man. It is what it is. They're not a good basketball team. But that doesn't mean you don't take them seriously. They still got a bunch of pros. You know, just like the announcer said yesterday, you got a Benz, I got a Benz, everybody got a Benz in the NBA. You know what I mean? Everybody's getting paid to do the job. So if you think you're going up against a bad team, a good player on that bad team could go off and have a career night, and all of a sudden you have something else to go up against. So you don't want to underestimate the possibility of such things on any night in this league. A guy like Johnny Davis, you don't expect Johnny Davis to do nothing. Johnny Davis could have a career night tonight. Be ready for that type of thing. Uh, Amory, I think his name is Amory. Look out for him. He's going to be coming off their bench. Who knows what he can do? We're going to find out. So it's just it's that type of thing we need to be aware of tonight. <clears throat> Guys want to make a name for themselves on our floor because they want off the Wizards. You know what I mean? And hopefully somebody like us or, or the scouts that will be watching this game because Le- LeBron and AD on the floor will ultimately take a look at those guys and bring them in in future seasons. That's what it is when you're on a bad team like this. You're auditioning every night, especially on the road. So I'd imagine somebody going to want to make a name for themselves tonight. Corey Kispert, we need to make sure it don't happen. That's what it really comes down to. So, yeah, man, that's that's what I'm saying. We got some dangerous players to go down down there, man. This is a team that shot 40-something percent from behind the arc. I believe it was against Denver and still lost. Denver had shot like 20-something from behind the arc and still beat them, and that's because they shot the Wizards did. 38% from the field. So this is a bad team, man. They're bad. Even when they shoot well, they're bad. And so we just got to, you know, bring the right intensity to the situation. Expect for them to try to make a name for themselves tonight. And if we come to show up, then we'll beat them, man. They ain't going to beat us if we show up. But if we show up with the intentions of playing to the level of the opponent, then we can get beat by anybody. Just like Bron said, we can beat anybody. We can be beat by anybody. And this right here. It's done no exception. So that's what I have to say about the Wizards. Uh, 12 game loser streak. They should stay on that. Do be aware of Tyus Jones, high level efficiency, passing the ball and not really turning the ball over. It's what he does. So you don't want him to get off tonight the way he did against the Golden State Warriors. Especially given the fact that you were talking about trading for him and simply didn't. He going to want to go off tonight. Guaranteed. He gonna wanna have his best season, best game of the season right now. And Kuzma too. Don't be surprised if Kuzma go for 35, 40 points. He's having all all he's putting up all star numbers. He's just on this horrible team. So the Kuzma that we traded away is not the Kuzma who's walking in here. He's a much better player. So these these are things we need to be aware of, man. Our NBA champion Kyle Kuzma, we we sent him to the bowels of the, the bottom of the earth. Have him playing with Jordan Poole. Trust me, he's going to have a gripe. So we're going to be ready for Kuz. And so that's pretty much what I got to say, man. Hopefully our team shows up. Hopefully our coach doesn't get in the way of our success with, with his choices. Um, I, I'm, I'm very thrilled to have won a game like last night, but I hope that in doing so we can still pay attention to the things that went wrong that put us in a position to be down by 21 in the first place. You know, don't don't be so excited about how we won the game that you forget how how we found ourselves in that position. And so that's really what I got to say, man. If we don't sure some things up, we could lose to the Wizards. We certainly could. I'd love to say it would shock me, but it wouldn't. 
BDL44. I thank y'all for watching. I'm out.